Welcome back guys, it's Marty here with another Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Shiny Hunt. In this uh, video, I'm going to be Shiny Hunting a Caterpie. For those of you who don't know, it's one of my favourite Pokemon. I don't know why, it's just been since I was a kid. Um, so much so that in Pokemon Blue I actually got a Caterpie, and I trained it up to level 100 without evolving it. Um, I'm pretty sure I actually, like I started on Pokemon Blue, traded it to Gold so I could use an Everstone, so that way I didn't have to stop, uh, stop it evolving every time. Anyway, enough about that, and maybe I'll try and train another one up to level 100. That could be a future thing, I don't know. Um, Alright, let's save and let's get into this shiny hunt. So I've got some lures as usual. I'm in the Viridian Forest, best place to catch a Caterpie, that's where Ash caught it. So, yeah, let's start catching Caterpies, let's get our chain up, and let's go from there. Obviously we're in the uh, Viridian Forest, everything's low level, so things are catching pretty easy with Pokeballs, so it saves us a lot of money on the game as well. And Caterpie's a pretty common Pokemon, really easy to find. So yeah, anyway, I was catching Caterpie after Caterpie, this this was going easy. Before you knew it, the chain's pretty much at the level at uh, 31 where we needed it, like, it, this is going so quickly. This is really good. And yeah, especially with this lure in here, it, it, things get hectic, things get ridiculous. There's just caterpies everywhere, guys. This is this is good. Like, look at all these. There's so many. Anyway, it doesn't really matter which one I catch, but you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> But none of these are shiny anyway, so I guess, you know, just just keep looking around, eventually, hopefully one will appear. Unlike when I was catching that Pidgey that, uh, in one of my previous videos, if you haven't already seen it, do check that out on my channel, that took me hours to do. Now, obviously I cut the video down, because I didn't want you to just watch three hours of me endlessly throwing Pokeballs, but yeah. Alright, so then I was wandering around, and check this out, the shiny Caterpie, how cool does that look, that yellowy golden colour. And it's huge. I guess that's a good thing. Anyway, no messing around. Just straight for an Ultra Ball, but even though it doesn't matter, I guess. And yeah, let's get this thing in the ball. And obviously you can see how this is going to play out. A low level Caterpie with an Ultra Ball. Bang, we got it. Guys, that only took me probably like an hour and a half at the most. Probably not even that. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty enjoyable, but as I said, there's a lot of Caterpies and a lot of Pokemon around. So it does get pretty hectic in the forest with this all like uh, close quarters sort of thing, trying to run into the wrong Pokemon. Check it out, that thing looks amazing. I might even try to train that up to level 100. I don't know yet. Bit of a challenge for me, I guess. Alright, let's check it out, guys. Let's have a look at it. Still got some Pidgeys from my last shiny hunt in here. Alright, check that thing out. That that looks amazing. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't already.